defending GSO runner-up symbol is on the ropes after a game one macro loss versus innovation in which he was pushed for 15 straight minutes and never seemed to even remotely have the lead or any chance of winning. We've seen people look like this against innovation and sort of realize like, well, I really don't have any chance to win against this guy in a straight up game. So I'll just cheese him. And Roro tried that in the third game of his best of five versus Inno in the previous round. He went for a big Roche Bane all in after a quick three hatch. Went super greedy into super cheesy, and it didn't work out for him. Minnow had a crazy defense. You might say, well, you know, if you show up with a huge Zerg army at Inno's base, and he has one Marine, six Hellions, and a couple Medivacs, and he holds, maybe you're just giving him too many options, you know. We should just show up at the very beginning of the game. Hopefully he'll be going CC first, and I'll just get a complete auto win. And this is one of those really bizarre games where it sort of looks like one of your ladder games. This would be like something that would happen on North America ladder. Six pool versus two racks, and we can't even see six pool anymore because six pool was basically this very first build that like a newbie player will learn in StarCraft where they just build a pool right out the gate and then they'll wait, they'll pool their larva and build six lings and just rush you. It's the classic quintessential cheesy Zerg rush. This is like the meme that whenever you give people StarCraft and like right out the gate, like this is what the Zerg player who has no idea what he's doing will try to do. Just like the quickest Zergling cheese rush possible. This is like when like that Google thing for a day, like when Google will do a theme and like it's like type in Zerg rush to Google. Like this is what they're talking about. And hilariously, we see two racks versus six pool. And this is a really weird situation where Innovation is trying to get this bunker out because he knows that the Zerg player is completely all in and can't win a macro game at all because he pulled his drones in a complete all in effort. And if Inno can get this bunker down, he'll never be able to break it because he won't be able to surround it and doesn't have any econ. And the barracks were put in such a way that they can tuck the marines in a little corner. This is always something that you want to do with two racks because if it ever gets discovered or pressured, you can do stuff like this decreasing surface area. The bunker finishes and symbol is completely screwed. So innovation is going to try to save this depot. So a couple things to note, this is a four player map. So yeah, symbol scouted and he's going to throw in the rest of his drones here weirdly and innovation has enough SCVs to defend. He can simply wall off and hide. Terran is always going to be at an advantage when they do a barracks build like this and you do like a very aggressive six pool type build where you don't get speed because they can wall off, they can make bunkers, and they have the mule. And if you're going to do this all-in play style where you literally make us pool as fast as possible, you're going six pool, and on top of that, you're pulling your freaking drones, there's no transitioning out of it. And we can see here, Symbol has one worker. He's like doing the freaking worker trick, the extractor trick to get one more drone because he lost his overlord. Like you literally cannot get more behind than this. This was a scrappy weird game where both players were doing like the cheesiest thing possible. And hilariously the Zerg player showed up to Inno's base, a notorious macro player saying to himself like, oh shit, there's nothing here. And then he deduced, he's two raxing. He went, he see, yeah, even Inno smirked at that. It's like, yeah, we were both cheesing and look how that worked out. It's funny because you prepare weeks for these games as we are going to bang it back a bit here. You prepare weeks for these games and you know who you're playing and you sort of suspect like, well, this map, they might go CC first or this map I'm not comfortable on at all this was a more claustrophobic map star station this was one of my favorites actually this is one that i would like pick for custom games back in the day but the zerg player might be saying to himself look there's no and you could spawn close to on this map it was force cross like two years from now when they brought it back but 
you could spawn in all four spots. So Simba was probably saying to himself, like, there's no way I can win on this Terran flavored map, especially with a little bit of positional imbalance if we get it, which they didn't. They spawned cross, of course. It's funny, whenever you're a Zerg and you like, you're like, oh, well, the map's bad. I'm going to try a cheese. Like, you always spawn in the macro sides, it seems. Which, if you don't know, like, if Inno had spawned bottom right, that would have been considered, like, the close positions because the, t the players spawn closer to each other. And the rush distance is shorter, which is a big deal when you do rushes like this. But really what this comes down to is the fact that the Zerg player is hoping that the Terran is playing standard or even better going CC first. And he catches them with his pants down. And whenever he entered his base and saw that there was nothing there other than a depot, he instantly knew like, oh shit, it's two racks. And that's why you saw him go like southbound because if people were going to two racks, they were always going to do it in that spot. Throughout all the maps in StarCraft 2 history, there's always been like common two rack spots. Like I can like point them out to you very accurately. Like these were 90% of the time when people are going to hide barracks, they're going to hide them here. But that's what he did when he deduced it was two racks. He said to himself, oh shit, I've got to try to kill these barracks before they finish and then camp the production if I can't. But Inno put them in an intelligent spot. If you just put them like ver if you put them in a similar spot just vertically, it doesn't make that little pouch, and the zerglings can chase you down before you get in the bunker, and suddenly you can't win. But the lings are never going to be able to break that bunker because you're on such a low econ, and you're just trapped, the zerg. Like you're completely screwed. The Terran has double your workers, but most, Im more importantly, has Mule. The Mule's worth like five fucking workers. So in these weird low econ games, it's gonna favor the Terran, because if it's 10 workers to 10 workers, but they have the Mule, you're at like a disgusting disadvantage. Plus you always wanna be a base up as Zerg. So we see like a funny little game that looks like an NA ladder game there where both players try to cheese the shit out of each other and it gets awkward. Sup for more.